And inside of Boroibo Tory, President Donald Trump, he and say, in the foresee, say schools go soon welcome students back, sake of U.S. states, they don't start to throw the freeze and we then put for daily life for hopes to take slow the global coronavirus pandemic. And for Rose Gardens, a news conference, the president of the United States, to show say young people, they do well to take resist the virus. And when in the yarn, Trump still boasts to say to bring down the spread for the coronavirus pandemic throughout the United States. And say U.S. health officials, they initially been they rely on test kits where they prepared by the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. And some of which, where they don't prove, say, they're very, very faulty. Are all stable and declining? All parts of the country are either in good shape, getting better, in all cases, getting better. And we're seeing very little that we're going to look at as a superseding hotspot. We've launched the most ambitious testing effort, likewise, on Earth. The United States has now conducted more than 5.4 million tests, nearly double the number tested in any other country, more than twice as much as any other country. You're seeing a lot of governors get out and they want to open it up. Uh, many are thinking about their school system. It's not a long way to go in the school system right now for this season, for this year. But uh, I think you'll see a lot of schools open up, even if it's for a very short period of time. I think it would be a good thing. Uh, because as you see, in terms of uh, uh, what this uh, vicious uh, virus uh, goes after, young people seem to do very well. Young people seem to do very well. So I know that there are some governors that uh, aren't necessarily ready to open up their states, but they may be ready to open up their school systems. We'll see. But that's their choice.